All right, continuing talking about uh, issues and development and some key distinctions in terminology that we need to talk about. Uh, previously talked about nature and nurture, and now I'm going to talk about the distinction between continuity and discontinuity, or the difference between a continuous model of development and a discontinuous model of development. So what does it mean to have continuity? Uh, or continuous development, that is when you have slow, gradual, subtle change, the sort of thing that can sneak up on you. Like with my own children, I have moments where I turn to look at them and I expect them to be down here, but now they're up here. I'm like, what? <sighs> you got taller again. You know, they are gradually, slowly getting taller and taller and taller. And it, it's kind of like with, you, you don't notice it until they get to a certain point, but it's been building. It's not like yesterday, that yesterday they were short and then today, bam, they are tall. It's not like there's this drastic difference. It's not a sudden change. Now, if we do have a sudden change, we would call that discontinuous change. Uh, discontinuity, discontinuous change, or a discontinuous model of development, that proposes sudden stage-like changes in development. And some developmental theorists have proposed stage theories of development. Like you're in this stage and then you move on to this other stage and you are qualitatively different in your behavior, in your actions from one stage to the next. Uh, so sudden, sudden, distinct, qualitatively different change, you got discontinuity. Subtle, slower change, gradual change, you've got continuity. So which one's correct? Which one fits best with human development? Well, they both do. And you know, just a lot of the things that we talk about in development, we find out, well, we'll, well, both apply. Like nature and nurture are both important influences. You have uh, evidence for both types of change. Even some of the stage theories that uh, have had a lot of influence in the field, uh, we sometimes find that there is continuous change right before you see that big, seemingly discontinuous jump to the next stage. So we, we have a combination. We have a combination between these different types of change and development. But that's your basic distinction between continuity and discontinuity. Next, I'm gonna talk about stability versus change.